Football. The word forms vastly different images between Americans and the rest of the world. The people of Kuwait are no exception as they prefer corner kicks and hat tricks over first downs and field goals. Yet there is a sport that both countries can agree upon, a game that combines the brute strength of football with the extreme stamina of football. Crouch. Bind. Set. Rugby. A successor to soccer and a predecessor to football, the sport has established a foothold in Kuwait and the United States. The game reached a historical milestone in the Middle East when the Kuwait Scorpions played the U.S. Army Eagles on Valentine's Day 2014 at Kuwait University. Kuwait Scorpions Rugby Football Club was established in 1946. Uh, the club was uh, the only club in Kuwait um, and it typically played against the British Army uh, during that time frame. The club has over probably 150 people, but not all of them are players. We also have a social side. Uh, the club also has a ladies uh, rugby team, and it also has an over 35 of vets team. The 68-year-old club clashed against a team formed less than three months ago by soldiers from the 143rd Sustainment Command, Expeditionary, an Army Reserve unit deployed at Camp Bear of John, Kuwait, in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. I had been talking to my uh, daughter and my son, who both play uh, collegiate ball back in the States, and I was uh, kind of missing it. It is a blast. So just it? on a whim, uh, Captain Green and I were sitting around one day at the, at the chow hall, and he said, uh, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we could put a practice team together? And so we did. And we publicized a little bit, and oh boy, did we get a lot of people out. The Army Eagles could not conduct full contact practices due to the lack of grass at Camp Barifjan. For many players wearing black and gold, this was the first time playing rugby in its purest form. Uh, I'm what you call a, a rookie rugby player here in uh, the Barifjan Eagles. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was pleased with my, my portion of, uh, of play for the team, but it was a team effort across the board for, for the Barifjan Eagles. We all come together, we all work hard, we all communicate. And now, and when we needed to switch out, we did to make sure that soldiers weren't getting injured and that we were actually getting the best guy at the right position at the right time. Despite the soldiers' inexperience, both teams were impressed with the Eagles' performance. Well, a lot of the team members, being brand new like myself, we thought we were going to get murdered. And uh, we actually surprised ourselves. We surprised the Scorpions. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, and I'm not saying it just because you guys are here, uh, you guys played much better than the uh, British Navy. We played the British Navy in October of 2013. We basically blew them out. You guys uh, gave us a little bit more of a competition than them. I don't know how it was before, but seeing you guys play, it seems like it's been a, a vets team, you know, a team that has been playing for a while, and especially playing with each other. The Scorpions produced a convincing victory by putting 63 points on the board to the Eagles' 12. But long after this score fades from memory, fans and friends alike will always remember the friendships forged on the pitch that night. What's unique is the fact that uh, with respect to rugby, we are now engaging fully with the community at large. It's not a military to military engagement. What we are doing is we're out there with the community, with people who work day in and day out, with the Kuwaitis, for the Kuwaitis, and who are Kuwaitis. You know, I hope uh, the U.S. Army takes out, uh, out of this game the hospitality that the Kuwait Scorpions and the Kuwait uh, community uh, gave towards this. Uh, what we took out from the game is basically the same thing. Uh, the friendship would be the, the most that we have gained from this. When we reached out to the Kuwait Scorpions Football Rugby Club, we have experienced nothing but incredible hospitality, partnership, friendship, and engagement that has been positive from the first phone call to tonight's actual football game. Reporting for the 143rd Sustainment Command Expeditionary, I'm Army Sergeant John Carkey, Kuwait City.